Hello and welcome to another video and today we're going to be looking at the 3 month update of the Infinity Wax Synergy Light Ceramic Coating that I applied to this Volkswagen CC just about 3 months ago. If you've not seen the original video I'll leave a link in the top left hand corner just now, click on that, you can check out the original video and then following on from that you can check out the 1 month update video. So, back to the matter at hand, with us now being a quarter of the way into the expected lifespan of this coating, I want to give the car a wash and just see how the coating's performing, see how its self-cleaning capabilities are, and just in general, start to make an opinion on whether or not this coating is as good as what Infinity Wax claim it to be. Initial observations from just looking at the car itself is that it's not very dirty. Now, I know that this car's been used, it's my mum's car, and I've been using it quite a lot recently. If you didn't notice on my Instagram, I've got a flat tyre on the X1, so I've been borrowing this until I get a new tyre sorted for it. The car itself, at the moment, I'm giving it a pre-rinse. It doesn't necessarily need a pre-rinse, but I'm giving it a pre-rinse to see what the water behaviour is like on the car before I even think about putting any chemicals near it. And just seeing how easily the little bits of dirt that is on the car are removed. So what I've noticed straight away is that on the lower parts of the car, just underneath that silver bit of trim, the water behaviour is definitely slowed up a little bit compared to the top half of the car. This is to be expected as generally this is the dirtiest part of your car. However, one thing that I would notice is that the traffic film that's in that area is washing off extremely easily with just a pressure washer. Moving on to the bonnet, there is the remnants of a few wee bird jobbies there. But again, a simple pressure wash is taking care of most of them, no problem. Now, if you take, keep an eye on the bonnet there, the water behaviour is looking a little bit flat. Sometimes that can be put down to the, the temperature under the bonnet, it getting a little bit hotter, but we'll see if that comes back later on in the video. So I'm going to follow a very simple, straightforward wash process today. It is going to be Snow Foam Pre-Wash, which is the Blackbeard's detailing pH neutral snow foam diluted at 10 to 1, followed by a two bucket safe wash using the Garage Therapy 1 car shampoo, which again is a pH neutral blend shampoo. And then that's it, that's all I'm going to do for washing the car. So while the snow foam's dwelling away here, I'd just like to take the opportunity to say I really hope you are enjoying the videos. If you are, could you please hit that thumbs up button, it helps me out a lot. And if you like the content, consider subscribing to the channel. So as I begin to wash off the snow foam, I'm being very methodical and I'm taking my time about this bit because what I want to see is that is the water behaviour going to come back just from a snow foam bath or am I going to have to go and do the contact wash before the water behaviour comes back or is the water behaviour going to come back at all? And we can see here that there is definitely some nice water behaviour happening at the moment. That was up on top of the wing. The area that I was really concerned about was the lower half of the door beneath the chrome trim piece. So taking my time, methodically rinsing it off and just look at that water behaviour starting to come back from all this is is a pH neutral snow foam. The 
that the car's been fully rinsed of all the snow foam. Let's just take a quick look at the water behaviour before we even think about going in and doing our contact wash. And I think it's safe to say that the ceramic coating is performing well at the moment. On to the contact wash then, and I'll be using the two bucket wash method. I'm using the Garage Therapy One Car Shampoo. This is version one, as I'm still finishing off that bottle before moving on to version two. So I think I've got about 30 ml of product in the bucket, giving ample amount of suds and ample amount of lubrication and cleaning power. And I'm just going to quickly smash through this contact wash. And we can have a look at how the water's behaving and how the coating's performing on what is going to be a completely clean car. Now getting the shampoo off the car immediately starts to bring a smile on my face. I can see that water behaviour, I can see how well it's performing and I'm starting to get happy. I even stop to answer a quick text message and then crack on with getting it rinsed off. And now I can bring everybody watching in to see just how that water behaviour is looking. It's totally revived itself on the lower half of the door there. Front and rear. Both looking very good, very happy with that. The door looks as if it's been applied yesterday, to be honest. Really happy with how this coating's performing so far over three months. But let's go and take a look at what the bonnet was looking like. Remember how flat that was looking before? If you don't, here's a little reminder, just the clip from earlier, just showing that initial water behaviour on the bonnet. It's still sheeting off. It is a fair bit slower across the centre of the bonnet though, you can see the water kind of gathering before it decides to move itself off the panel. And now, let's look at it after the wash. Back to performing the way that it should be, no pulling up of the water, moving off the panel super quick, beading up nicely. That's what you want to see from a ceramic coating after a car's been washed. And then just taking a look at the water coming out of the rinse bucket, which was extremely clean. There was nothing left. There was no dirt or anything lingering at the bottom of the rinse bucket as I pulled it out. There goes a grit guard. Now, if you are a regular watcher of the channel, you will know that I've been testing out four different glass cleaners. And I've kind of came to a bit of an early conclusion on that one, but that's for another video. But essentially, I really like the Soft 99 Glaco, so I'm going to apply it to this car. I'm polishing up the glass using the Soft 99 com glass compound, which once you're done, you just rinse the, put the rinse water over the glass, get a damp microfiber, and just wipe it off essentially. It's not like a regular compound where you would just buff it off once you're finished, you do need to wet it. It comes off a lot, lot easier. So prepare the glass, get all the compound off and then get the glass dried before we can apply the Glaco, which I apply just in straight lines, moving down the window methodically, and then you're going to need to give this about 10 to 15 minutes to cure before you remove this again with just a damp cloth. Make sure you get a fresh microfiber cloth, obviously. Don't use the one that you used to remove the compound. And then try not get it wet for at least four to five hours after and then that's us done I'm not going to apply any additional protection to the paintwork I'm going every second wash I'm going to apply the Synergy QD but that was done in the last wash so that won't be getting done on this wash and just into some finishing shots of the car and you can see how nicely it's came up from essentially just using two chemicals on the paint a pH neutral snow foam and a pH neutral shampoo has the car back to looking absolutely fantastic and ready to be used again. So 
I would just like to take this time to say thank you for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.